and the Lord's power. So, uh, like I said, we welcome him just as much as we welcome you. We want him to have free reign throughout the entire service, and so we always make sure that he knows that we can settle this account right now and just let him know, do what you gotta do. Amen. So we'll do welcome one more time. All right, thank you for doing it.
um, just praying for her. But we are truly excited to know that the God that we serve is still merciful. When our hearts are heavy, when we don't understand why things are happening, the wonderful thing is, is that he has a plan. And that that plan is to make us better. Um, I was with a friend yesterday, and she reminded me of how when, as parents, when we're trying to train our children before they're grown, before they have their own, we make them mad as we have them do certain things. But then they come back and they say, okay, I get it. I understand. Thank you. So the Lord, the thing is that we understand that right now we might not understand it right now. But we will look back and we will say to the Lord, thank you. And so the thing is, is that we are trying to push through whatever our situation is, whatever is our spot. Whatever our feelings are and all those things and understanding that he truly makes no mistake. And like I said, in the mistakes that we make, somehow he makes it better. You know, he, he makes it where it does work out. Um, not always ideally, the way we want it, but he does the best with what he has. And so we are so excited to know that God gave us a person in the Bible. Like I said, David, even though David did so many mistakes, he had so many fall things. God still said that he was a man after his own heart. Because David was willing to acknowledge what he did. Yes. Sometimes that's the hardest part. Like I said, your reality of being a good person and being worthy of his grace is not dependent on what you do. You know, it is because of who you are. And like I said, the thing is, is that you said, oh, the devil is just so cute. But the thing is, is that I really have come to understand just recently is that when we tell you that the devil is, is not after you directly, He's not. Like I said, he is really after anything that's going to hurt God. So if you can't trust God, then the devil's happy because it hurts God that you can't trust him. If you can't obey God, the devil's happy about that because he knows that if you don't trust God, then you're not going to do certain things. And so the whole thing is, is that the devil, his whole agenda is to get back at God. That's right. Because he did the wrong thing, he rebelled, he took a third of the angels, and all eternity, for all of his history, that's all he's trying to do is get back. So please don't be a person that gets back at somebody that hurts you. That's right. Like I said, the devil's going to do this for thousands of years, and still ends up in hell. So the thing is, be forgiving. Find a way to be forgiving in your heart, as God did with David. And like I said, don't beat yourself. If you make a mistake, you apologize, you acknowledge what it is, figure out how not to repeat it, or not the same way. Amen. But the thing is, forgive yourself, and it will allow you to forgive others. And so we're going to take the example of David, and then we're going to go to the prayer. the spirit Yeah. 
and I open my eyes and thank you, God, for giving me another day to prove how much I care for you. You showed me how much you care for me when you gave your son to die on the cross for my sins, Almighty God. For all the stuff that I've done, you forgave me. Threw it away, dear God. As far as the east is from the west, it never brought it up again. This morning I stand saved and worship and praise the Lord for how his good he is has been to me. But Father, I thank you for the opportunity and the privilege to open my mouth in gratitude and thanksgiving this morning. But Lord, there might be some here that don't know you as Savior. There might be some here today, God, that's burdened down or oh, the cares of this world and all that's going on, dear God. Thinking about the 800,000 folks without jobs today, dear Father. Think about all those people that say, I got to sell my car. I got to do this to get someone to, 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 to pay my car for it and my mortgage and all of that. Find it food for my children. But Lord, I pray and ask that the world can see that there is a God and that he is powerful and mighty. You had to show old Pharaoh how mighty and powerful you really were, dear God. You had to show up, dear Lord, that his name didn't reign supreme. Yours did. And God, you're still proving that today. You're showing folks that there is a God. No matter what the Buddhists say, no matter how the Catholics feel, no matter what goes on, there is a God. Jehovah John. Jehovah Rath. There is a God. Mighty and powerful and lifted up. Who name is supreme. Father, this morning I ask you to pray that you bless Watch over us. Help us to worship and serve you today like there is none other. Bless this time and all that go on here. For this I have to ask and pray in your son Jesus' precious name. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Amen.